Wait a minute. Hello? Uh, yes, ma'am. This is Mark Pyers here, the call center, Microsoft. This is Microsoft? Yeah, that's right, this is Microsoft calling you directly. Oh. Uh, we understand you're having an issue with your Windows 95 operating system, and you may have gotten an email from us. Yes, I did get an email. That's right, <laughs> yes. Uh, look, I'm here with Joanne. Oh, who's Joanne? She's my assistant. We're here to help you every step of the way. And I think you need to understand something from our perspective here at Microsoft. We want to help you with your operating system needs, Windows 95. And we're specific here about Windows 95 at this call center. Uh, so what I wanted you to do is see if you could click that link. Uh, this link? Yep, yeah, that's right, any desk. Any desk? Click that link and you're going to give me, Mark, all of the privileges necessary to access your computer, your banking records, your dental records, and any other pertinent information on your device, photos, anything else I could find in my search. Wait, that seems like a lot. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, this is, this is standard, okay, for Microsoft. Uh, it's just really, you know, fine print I have to tell you about. Just sign off on it. I don't think I feel comfortable doing that. Ma'am, are you a moron? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm sorry, I just don't understand how stupid you, you know, are being right now. It's simple. You just electronically sign off. I get access to everything that you've ever done in your life. Yeah, but why do you need to see my picture? Uh, Ma'am, do you want help with your Windows 95 operating system or not? Yes, of course. Joanne! <laughs> Joanne, are you back? Sorry, ma'am, it's hard to hear you over the wheeze, <laughs> Joanne's wheeze. Can you give me a minute? I was wondering what that was. Joanne, I got a live one over here. <laughs> She doesn't want to give me access to all of her record, banking records, dental records, you know, death records, family, you know, Ancestry.com. And I, it just seems excessive. You know, uh, ma'am, I'm not sure how much more I could do for you if you're not going to give me that access, any desk style. You just go, okay, yeah, I do it. My name's Judy Lewis. I'm letting, you know, Mark in there to do his thing. I guess, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I started, I was wondering if I had to send somebody over with a sledgehammer to knock some sense into you, Judy. I'm sorry, <laughs> are you speaking to your assistant? No, that's Joanne. Joanne, you're Judy. No, I'm just, I got a Joanne. You're Judy, half a moron. I'm the moron? That's right. Now, uh, moron, uh, sorry, jo uh, Judy. Let me just get in here real quick. Okay, I really need help with my Windows 95. What are you typing in? Did you find something? Yeah, no, it looks like we were we gave you a rebate. A rebate? We gave you a rebate, and all you have to do now is, t t you know, just do me a favor, Judy. You're gonna type in what I tell you to type in, and then do not push enter. Do you understand me, Judy? Yes, you want me to push enter. Judy, <laughs> do not push enter, not do. Do not push enter. Do you understand? Do push enter, got it. No, Judy, no. When I say do not push enter, that means when you get to the end of putting in the freaking set of numbers I tell you about, you don't push enter. You know? Okay, all set. I'll push enter. You know, let's, let's just try this out. I think you're a, just a complete idiot. That's not nice. Your family should disown you, Judy. What? What? All right, the, the numbers are as such. Eight. Okay, eight. Seven, four. 74. No, four, Judy, eight, seven, four. I only gave you three numbers so far. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I thought you meant seven, so seven is. Okay. Four. Six, nine, two. Six, nine, two. Seven, three, four. Seven, and three, four. And then do not four, push enter, and Judy. I'm, I'm sorry, I pushed enter. Judy! Are you a freaking idiot? I'm sorry. I Force told to you not it. to push enter. I got a freaking moron over here, Joanne. She pushed enter. I told her not to push I enter. I thought you said to press You got to be kidding me. I'm here doing it. I'm trying to help you, Microsoft. And you're over there pushing enter? I told you not. Now, Judy, I'm going to lose my job. I'm going to lose my job, Judy, because you put an extra zero in at the end. And now you're getting four million. Instead of four dollars.
Judy, do you really want me to lose my job, Judy? I'm not really sure yet. My family. I got 74 kids. Wait, how many kids? They're all in school right now, each one of them. Private school. And how is that my problem? Have a heart, Judy. You're gonna have to refund the rebate that well, we just gave refund you. Refund the rebate. Yeah. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna send you a link. You click that link. And Judy, if you freaking click enter. I know, I know. You know? <laughs> I mean, seriously. If I find out and I hear that you hit enter, I'm flying to your house there in Los Eagles, and we're gonna have words. Because this is my family we're talking about now. You pushed an extra zero, and that multiplied. Because when you hit the zero, it just it got stuck, clearly. <laughs> four dollars? No, four million. You gotta refund that now. What? Judy. Yes? God is watching you right now. He is? If you don't make the right decision, you, you can't go to heaven. I'm sorry. I can't go to heaven? So, you know. No, St. Peter's a friend of mine, and he said so. <coughs> What's that, Joanne? <coughs> Joanne, I can't hear you over the wheeze. What are you trying to... <coughs> Gosh, only... No, Judy, I'm sorry. Joanne was trying to just give me some inside information and just explaining to me how screwed you are, you know? But this is your mistake. You know, Judy, it's times like this, I wonder, how, how long do you got to pack your bags and get going? Like, if you're going to try to screw me over, the cops are on their way. Joanne just called him. We got Poncharella coming. In the chopper. He's coming to take you down. Because I, you know, was trying to help you out with the rebate. Fix your operating system, Windows 95. And now you're embezzling $4 million from Microsoft. And your Microsoft. That's right. Judy, Microsoft. I am Microsoft. Just don't think it's your company. That's like I, people always wonder, oh, this is Microsoft calling me? Yeah. It's Mark Microsoft. <laughs> yeah. Like, you guys were like, what is going on? Where, why, how could you be my, my, my last name is Microsoft. That's your family craft? What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> I'm trying to just give it to you straight here. Mark Microsoft, you know, that I can help you with your Microsoft Windows 95 problem, Judy. Give you the rebate, and you're now stealing millions of dollars from Mark Microsoft. Again, I'm willing to pay back if you give me the any debt. Judy, I'm gonna file a complaint. I'm gonna file a grievance. Will you please just tell me how I could pay no, it back? No, that's, that's fine. If you just click the link that I'm gonna give you right here and type in exactly as I tell you to, Judy. Okay. Do not, do not for the love of God. Push enter at the end, Judy. If you do, remember cops, dogs, they come with, you know, those dogs they send in there, they're rabid. Dogs are rabid? You know, they don't bring in healthy dogs. They bring in rabid dogs for, for you, Judy. Why? I'm just a you know, lady. Because that's a lot of money that you're embezzling and stealing from us here at Microsoft. Mark Microsoft. Well, let me pay it back now. No, that's right, Judy. <laughs> Click the link. The link? Judy, you're a freaking imbecile. Oh, oh, this You're thing. a moron. You're an idiot. I just wish I could open the door and then close it on your head. And maybe that would help. Because gosh almighty, dingbat. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, Joanne? No, Joanne, no one can hear you over the wheeze. <sighs> I'm sorry. Judy, not you. I'm hoping you're going to do the right thing here because you're a freaking idiot. What did I do? Wrong? You know, we're laughing at you here. Everybody here at the call center is laughing at you, Judy. They're like, you're on with a moron. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know. I'm dealing with it. Pushing an extra zero. Pushing enter. I told you not to push enter, Judy. Is it because you're an a-hole? Because you're a piece of garbage? Some stupid moron? I think it's Imbecile? time I tell you. You ever heard of scammer payback? What? Pierogi. You're... You're not Judy, you're... You're scammer payback. Ding, 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 ding! What do we have for him, Johnny? And I deleted all your files, too. Yeah. Guys, uh, I, don't, I don't have any more files. Best of luck, sweet. I had files. I had money. I had everybody's documents. Remember the guy in Milwaukee? Joanne! I got hit! I had him! 
scammer payback. He gave, he did it. I mean, look, Joanne, right? We were here. I was yelling about your dumb wheeze. And all of a sudden, scammer payback. I got scammer payback. You know, guys, I think we're going to have to shut down this operation here in Calcutta. You know, I mean, like, right? I, I was really getting people. They thought I was in New York City. That I was just calling from the backyard. Hey, God, you know, I worked on my English. I worked on my New York. I worked on my East Coast, United States of America, so I could come here and be authentic when I called and do the my scammer, you know, deal. I got scammer payback. I got it. I, I got to give it, to, you know. You got to give it where credit is due. I was trying to scam. I got scammed. Scammer payback, you know? I'm going to try to see if I can get that pierogi back. Yeah. Can I have my files back? You know, there was this dummy named Judy. She just couldn't get it. Oh, wait, shoot. That was you. You really got me there. You really got me there. Guys, shut it down. Power down. Anything left? You got, you got nothing? I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. I always thought I was doing what we do. You know, I was here. I was taking everybody's hard-earned dollars. Calcutta style. And unfortunately, I got scammer payback. You know, when that happens, you got to just put your head down and, and you got to take the loss. You take the L. But you come back tomorrow, a different street, different office, different, you know, street off the street level. Oh, I'm on the 21st floor today, Calcutta. And we're doing it all over again. You know, hey, how you doing? It's Mark Microsoft giving you a call. That's right. I own the company. My father. My father said, you know, look, you're doing it. You go out there and you give people help on their rebates. So that's what I do here at, the, you know, at the call center for, for you, Judy. I hope I don't get another Judy again, guys, on the, uh, tomorrow when we, when we reset the entire thing, the operation. From square one, I'm gonna get that scammer payback guy. He may have won the battle today, but he hasn't won the war. <laughs> right, Joanne? <laughs> Joanne, stop wheezing. Shut down the computer, Joanne. Everybody shut down your stuff. We gotta be on the run. FBI can be on their way. You know Pierogi's calling them in. Gosh almighty. Joanne, I gotta take an express train back to the United States, because I can't stand being caught. Caught up with you with the wheeze. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Good luck, freaking suckers. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, you're trying to scam people out of millions of dollars. Uh, so I love those episodes. I see them sometimes at the scammer payback. Oof, gosh almighty. Sorry, guys. And they make me laugh. Because he's so freaking good at getting his, you know, getting people and taking their files. And so that was an homage to Pierogi. I'm totally in awe of you, brother, for what you do out there to save people and to uh, and almost do like a Robin Hood type of thing. You're awesome. Uh, if anybody does watch him and wants to share that with him, I think that was pretty funny. But that's just me. What the hell do I know? I'm just the guy improvising. Join us live every night after 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.